What if I told you your next smartphone uh, might actually be a pair of glasses? Today, we're putting two of the craziest smart glasses head to head, the brand new Meta Ray-Ban displays versus the Inmo Air 3. Both claim to be the future of wearable tech, but only one of them truly feels like it's from the future. Let's find out which one deserves to sit on your face. The biggest difference, standalone versus companion. Let's start with the biggest difference between these two. And honestly, it's a game changer. The Inmo Air 3 is a completely standalone device. You don't need your phone at all. You can walk out the door, hit the coffee shop, or even travel. And these glasses run fully on Android 14. They connect to Wi-Fi, hotspot, or mobile data. It's basically a smartphone for your face. Meanwhile, the Meta Ray-Ban displays still rely heavily on your phone. Spotify needs your phone. Translation needs your phone. It's smart, but not smart enough to be on its own. Design and comfort. Design-wise, Meta definitely wins the style game at first glance. Their Ray-Bans, thick, premium, and stylish. But also, no noticeably heavier. They transition to sunglasses outdoors, which is cool, and you can get prescription lenses too. The Inmo Air 3, on the other hand, looks a bit bulkier, especially on the sides, but that's where the massive batteries hide, and that bulk actually pays off later. Plus, they include clip-on sunshades right out of the box. Function over fashion, but still pretty slick. Battery life. Meta promises around six hours of use. Realistically, you'll get three to four. The Inmo Air 3? A massive eight to 12 hours, depending on usage. I've gone full days without charging. Plus, they use USB-C and can even charge while in use. If endurance matters, Inmo's got Meta beat easily. Gaming and Maps. Meta's ecosystem includes Maps and live captioning, both well done but limited. Maps only work in certain cities and for walking directions. The Inmo Air 3, again, crushes it here. Download Google Maps and boom, full navigation, save places, voice guidance, everything. And when you're done traveling, connect a controller and play games directly on your glasses. You can even do cloud gaming via Xbox or Steam and both support AI. Meta has its own, while Inmo lets you pick between Gemini or ChatGPT. I mean, that's just wild. Meta's control system is fascinating. It uses a neural wristband that tracks your finger gestures. It's cool, but let's be honest, it takes a while to get used to. Inmo Air 3 gives you options. A motion tracking ring, a remote, or even touch gestures directly on the frames. The ring turns your hand into an air mouse. It feels sci-fi level futuristic, and it actually works smoothly. So in terms of control, Inmo wins hands down. Price and value. Meta Ray-Ban displays start at $799, while the Inmo Air 3 is $899. So for just $100 bucks more, you're getting a standalone Android device, dual-lens 1080p display, triple-screen setup, and massive battery life. It's like comparing a smartwatch to a full laptop. The difference in power is that big. So what do you think? Would you rather have the classic style of the Meta Ray-Bans or the futuristic power of the Inmo Air 3s? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. Links for both are down below if you want to check them out. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, give that like button a little tap. Trust me, the next review is going to blow your mind. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.